Do you love the idea of clearing your closet because it'll get rid of all that stuff that's standing in the way of wearing what you truly love, but you just don't know how to get started? Well, in my next video, I am going to go through my stylist process of how I work with my one-on-one -on -one clients and what it looks like to go through a closet clearing. Stick around and watch. Hey there, I'm Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a closet clearing because, well, it's almost fall and it's a really good time to go through your wardrobe and figure out which items you love and you want to wear more of and honestly what it's time to get rid of. So many of the women that I work with, they have so much stuff in their closet but they feel like they have nothing to wear. And the truth is, is that there's so much stuff in there, they can't even see what they have to wear. So today I am going to do a mini closet clearing. I'm going to go through about three items of my own because it's time for me to get rid of stuff in my closet as well. I'm gonna go through these items and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to do a closet clearing so that you can get started and do your own later today. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go back into my closet. My closet is all the way over here. Hello. And I'm gonna pick out some things. Well, we all probably have so much stuff in there, but I'm gonna just grab something that I know I haven't worn in a really long time. And I'm gonna start with this top. So the first thing you're gonna do when you get the item out of your closet is you're gonna try to remember exactly when it was the last time you wore it. This just helps put it in perspective of really how important this top is or how important this piece of clothing is to you. So for me, the last time I wore this, this is kind of nuts, but I bought this when I was after my, first, my son was born, so he's about to be 12. Um, so I've had this shirt for about 12 years now, and the last time that I wore it, I can't even remember the last time that I wore it. So that's a pretty good sign that I probably won't wear it again, which brings me to the next line of questioning, and that is, will I ever wear this shirt again? So I'm gonna look at it and you know, I wanna go with my first reaction here. I don't wanna get too emotional and think about, oh, but I bought this right after my son was born and what a sweet time that was, you know? I don't wanna go down that road at all. I just wanna be real business here, keep it real pro. Will I wear this shirt again? I don't think so. But the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it on and I'm going to see how does this shirt make me feel. And this is the true test of whether it's something to keep or not. So I'm just going to put the shirt on, slide it on over what I'm wearing. I wore a very basic tank outfit here because I knew I was gonna be trying stuff on and that's actually something that you should do. So here we go, here is the shirt. you've tried it on it's time to get really honest with yourself and does this shirt make me happy I love the Marie Kondo does it spark joy I think that is just so to the point and it really works so when I think about this shirt and how it makes me feel does this shirt spark joy and the answer is not so much anymore it did I had my moment with this shirt and it definitely served me well so once you decide that you're not going to keep the shirt anymore, you just kind of take a moment and acknowledge that it's your time with the shirt is over, and then you're gonna put it in the pile to get rid of. So, moving on. So, the next thing that I'm gonna choose, okay, this. Now, this, you know, so I'm gonna ask myself, when was the last time I wore it? And gosh, I wore this, the last time I wore this was two years ago. So that's a really long time. And again, like we tend to get all caught up in the emotions of the, of, you know, the garment that we're looking at. And this was, a, this was a sale purchase for me. So it was pretty exciting for me to score this. It's, uh, it's Takoon is the designer. So, you know, when you spend some money or when you get a good deal and you save money, 
you might be more apt to not want to get rid of it because you feel like, oh, it's such a good value. But remember, what we're doing here is we're trying to get rid of all the stuff in your closet that's keeping you from wearing what you truly love. So is this dress, I mean, it's, I guess it's a dress. It's kind of like a tunic. I, that's the thing is I always kind of struggled with how to wear this. So I'm going to try this on right now and see how it goes. Here I am. So here's this dress and all the problems that I had with this dress are coming back to me right now because I mean it is a dress but like I used to wear it with these nude colored leggings underneath and this part always was falling down like it was very baggy. So now I'm going to ask myself how this dress makes me feel when I'm wearing it. Okay, also, I needed to ask myself if I was going to wear this dress again. I needed to be really honest and I need to try to figure out, you know, the last time I wore this was to a night before wedding event. So, I mean, I don't really go to that many weddings anymore, but I don't know. I'm not really sure when I would wear this or if I would wear this again. And so, how does this dress make me feel? I mean, it's, again, it's, it's kind of complicated. Like, I just, the top was always falling over. And I just never really felt that comfortable. It was never that comfortable of an outfit for me to wear. So I guess it's going to be one of those times when it's going to say bye. So let's just do one more. The last thing that I'm thinking about, there's so many things in here that are in the way of wearing what I truly love, but since I'm only going to go through three items today, I'm going to go with this shirt because this shirt, oh, I'll keep it on the hanger. It looks better. This shirt, I mean, like, I don't know. This just, when I look at this shirt, it doesn't really feel like me, which is definitely a good thing that you want to ask yourself. Does the garment feel like you? So that's the first thing is I'm like, this doesn't really feel like me. Um, I got this shirt for free somehow. So there's really no value attached to it and there's no sentimental value attached to it. Um, when was the last time I wore this shirt? I don't know. Um, I actually used to wear this shirt as sort of an accessory and I would wrap it around my waist so I used it more as an accessory. But anyways, would I wear this shirt again? I don't even think I would wear this shirt again. Um, let's try it on and see how it makes me feel. Okay, so you know what? I'm not really loving this shirt. It doesn't make me feel that great, so... It's definitely creating clutter in my closet and the whole purpose of this exercise is to clear the closet, get rid of the clutter, and I don't think the shirt really does much to spark joy, as Marie Kondo would ask. So this shirt is also gonna go. So there you have it. There were three items that I cleared from my closet and if you wanna try this yourself, just ask yourself what the last time you wore it Ask yourself if you think you would wear it again, and then try the, try the garment on, and then ask yourself, how does it make you feel? And be really honest. Don't get all attached to any emotions or sentimental value that you place on the garment. Just be straightforward. How does it make you feel, and will you ever wear it again? And this is exactly how you can clear out your closet. And I suggest, you know, just doing three a day. If you can get through three a day, eventually you'll start to you'll start to break through all the clutter and then you'll be left with only the stuff that you love. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up. I will see you next week. Bye.